Bonjour Elvis. Bonjour Hanan. Good Hello. morning Elvis. Hello Robert. Another new week. It's my pleasure to be there. Absolutely. What do we have on tech today? Un plaisir de vous recevoir. My second time as your guest, recently, <laughs> Robert. Uh, today, before we got, get it to our topic of the day, I first of all want to recall some, that uh, this week we had lots of happenings in the world of uh, science and technology, especially the announcement uh, that uh, the Nokia 3310 is going to be coming back, which is a Absolutely. very, very pop popular phone uh, noted for its uh, hardness. And also, too, we are talking about, we also got news about the successful test of a new malaria immunization method, which has been described as 100% uh, effective and protective. But that aside, the big news of the week was the discovery of the Earth's hidden uh, continent, uh, Zealandia. That's what I'm going to be talking about this morning. A hidden landmass known as Zealandia has been found, and the information was released by the Geological Society of America and exposes a continent uh, which is two-thirds the size of Australia, 4.5 million square kilometers in size, with 94% uh, of it underwater. Scientists say it has existed for about 100 million years. Elvis, Elvis, I think everyone should want, would want to understand why has this discovery of this sudden hidden continent only been made now? Scientists responded this week that uh, Zealandia had been underneath the ocean and hiding. The discovery of the latest continent started in the 1950s when some thick crust was found by early uh, geophysicist Bruce Luyendik. That was when the name Zealandia was uh, suggested. As the geophysicist at the time said, he had found out that the new discovery had characteristics which are necessary to qualify it as a continent. Now, what are some of these characteristics? We talk about high elevation as compared to, to regions flawed by oceanic crust, broad range of selenious rocks, uh, metamorphic rocks, as well as uh, uh, sedimentary rocks to thicker cross as well as well-defined limits around a large enough area considered to be called a continent. So I will say here that scientists have identified Zealandia as a ge uh, geological continent rather than a collection of continental islands and fragments. The discovery sends us back to the drawing board to try investigating the processes involved in rifting, thinning and breakup. Well, on SciTech, uh, concerning SciTech matters, now that the continent has been discovered, what should you expect from this? What we expect in the days ahead is that uh, the continent believed to have broken away from Australia about uh, 800 uh, million years ago as part of the breakup of the supercontinent uh, called uh, Gondwana Land, which is in the mm -hmm. Robert like so much. <laughs> it has brought a lot of excitement following its discovery. And right now, everyone is looking forward to see if the discovery will gain acceptance within uh, the scientific uh, community. And if it does, then maybe in future, cartographers will have to consider adding the continent to future maps and analysis. And maybe two books on geography uh, will have to uh, be updated to, to meet uh, the uh, expectations of the latest discovery. Uh, a quick summary about the history of the continent before you go, Elvis. Yeah, of course, we, we've, known, we've known about uh, seven continents uh, that have existed, and many people too have been asking questions how were continents created. I don't know Robert's point of view as far as that is concerned, <laughs> but historically, a geologist say the Earth was formed from great swelling cloud of dust and gas, and so continuous smashing of space debris reportedly made the Earth to heat up melting rocky materials, uh, which rose to the surface and cooled to form crust. Heavier materials sank towards the Earth's center, and then the Earth finally had three years, uh, three layers, the core, the mantle, and the crust. Uh, that's secondary school uh, geography. But according to, to geologists now, the crust and the top portion of the mantle merged together to form a shell around the Earth called uh, tectonic plates. And so geologists believe that the, the continuous slow sliding of the plates, is, uh, which is a process called uh, plate tectonics, has contributed to uh, the formation of the continents as we have today. I don't know, some other people say the Earth was created uh, by God. I don't know which one you believe, Robert, whether you believe in uh, what the geographers say, <laughs> which one do you believe? There's, <laughs> well, there's a lot of uh, debate between science and religion, but I'll go with, uh, I'll go with Trump's opinion the one which people like best. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what I have for you this morning. Merci beaucoup. Thank, thank you very much.